Lindsay drama as it unfolds. And today, we've got a team of experts, advisors, and people right there on the ground to answer all the major questions surrounding today's explosive court hearing. When will Lindsay show up? Did she violate her probation? Will her alcohol monitoring bracelet come off? And the biggest question of all, could Lindsay Lohan actually go to jail today? Joining me live this morning in New York, it's attorney Vicki Ziegler. Live in Atlanta is Mike Brooks. Mike is HLN's law enforcement analyst. And with me live in New York, Megan Alexander. Megan is a correspondent for Inside Edition. Brooke Anderson right there at the courthouse where Lindsay Lohan is expected to arrive for her big probation violation hearing today. Brooke, tell us what's the latest there. Uh, well, it's becoming a bit of a circus, AJ, as a huge swarm of photographers, paparazzi, journalists, and the like are waiting for Lindsay Lohan to arrive for this courtroom showdown with Judge Marsha Ravel. She will find out whether this is her last stop before she goes to jail or whether the judge will relax the terms of her probation, which, AJ, let's face it, she has struggled with this three-year probation. It has not been smooth. It has not been easy for her at all, and the judge will discuss all the terms of her probation and whether she's been in compliance. Yeah, and one of the terms of her probation, it's alcohol education classes, something that has been in question whether or not she has attended every one that she is supposed to have attended. She did attend some over the weekend. Vicki Ziegler, off to you. What do you expect to happen today? Do you think Lindsay is, look, going to get off once again with a little slap on the wrist? just like she has before, or are we looking at something much more serious? Well, what do I think is going to happen? Probably not jail time. What should happen? Probably Lindsay needs to really get a lesson here. I think the judge has been so patient with her. She's been rooting for her throughout this whole probation ordeal. And really the question is, has she complied with the judge's order? The judge's order was clear. You must go to education classes <coughs> once per week without fail. If you don't, you're in violation of my order. So clearly, if in fact Lindsay Lohan has not completed her alcohol education classes, she hasn't gone consistently, on its face she's violated the judge's order. I don't think the judge is going to throw her in the slammer, unfortunately, but I think she probably needs to teach her a lesson. Yeah, and some people say throwing her in the slammer, that could possibly be the best thing for her. Megan, where do you see today's hearing going? Because as I said, we've seen her sort of get away with just a little eh, slap on the wrist before, but this judge is proving that she means business here. Exactly. AJ, first I'd like to see, will Lindsay show up on time? Yeah. Does she take this seriously? Hasn't had the best record there. Also, this is not the time to go easy. The judge needs to continue to be tough on her because ultimately this could be saving Lindsay's life. We're talking about alcohol addiction issues here. And I think that people need to remember this judge needs to be respected, not liked. A judge is not your friend. You don't want to be uh, feeling that you can have all warm and fuzzies when you walk into the courtroom. I would love to see this judge be extremely tough on her. It could save her life. Yeah, it could save her life. We all want to see the judge be very stern. Mike Brooks, off to you. Now, one of the things about Lindsay Lohan showing up and the possibility of her getting thrown in jail, there are a lot of people say, oh, it'd be great to see a, a starlet thrown in jail because, wow, wouldn't that be fun? But the truth is, this is something a lot of people feel she needs. Do you think yeah. that is something that could happen today? I think it is something that could happen, AJ. She has been to rehab a number of times already, you know, to no avail. And recall, if you recall, on the May 20th uh, hearing, the judge told her attorney, actions speak louder than words. What kind of actions is that judge going to take today? I think she may step her back and lock her up. Well, some of the action has included, at least from Lindsay's part, trying to show that she's doing the right thing. Check out this brand new video. It's just in this morning. Lindsay at her alcohol education class this past weekend, if we can put that up. Now, Lindsay reportedly was behind on these classes, as we mentioned, and she was catching up over the weekend. Probably a good thing for her to do because, you know, as we've been talking about, this judge back in May was ticked off when Lindsay had missed her court hearing. Lindsay claimed her passport was stolen while she was at the Cannes Film Festival. Well, when she finally did show up at court a few days later, the judge was pretty ticked off. Let's watch that tense moment from back in May. You're not allowed to drink any alcoholic beverage. The scram device has to be on you within 24 hours. I'm ordering random drug testing locally, and that's going to be once a week. You are to attend all scheduled alcohol classes at the rate of one a week. Do you understand and accept the conditions if you're remaining out on bail? Yes, right. At least she was polite there. There's the judge handing down her order back in May, ordering Lindsay to wear that alcohol monitoring bracelet, the scram bracelet as it's known, and that monitors Lindsay while she's on probation. Vicki, back to you. Do you think the judge could possibly rule that that scram bracelet comes off today? 
she absolutely could, but who would do that? I mean, at this point, it, it showed a reading of 0.04. We don't know exactly what happened. Lindsay said she wasn't drinking. Um, there's no real indication that, th that Lindsay Lohan has beat her abuse problem and that she's really ready to move forward in society. I don't think the judge is going to ask her to remove the bracelet, and I think the judge really has to show that regardless of who you are, celebrity or not, a judge's order needs to be adhered to. And I think that Lindsay Lohan is really displaying poor judgment and is really acting like a child. She's 24 years old. Let's show the, let's show the world that, you know what, when a judge says a, as a mandate from the bench, you need to do these things, you need to do them. She accepted the terms, now, now live by them. Yeah, no, exactly. And, and Lindsay's trying to show the world that she is living by the terms in a very 2010 kind of a way. She's taken to Twitter. She has told people, on Twitter that oh, when the alcohol monitoring bracelet went off, it was a malfunction. Brooke Anderson, mm. you're right there at the courthouse, and I know you've been following Lindsay's tweets. She is still actively talking about the fact that she's in compliance, isn't she? As she certainly is. She is saying she has done nothing wrong and that she has been in full compliance with the terms of her bail, with the terms of her probation. And yeah, a month ago, she attended the MTV Movie Awards. And then, yes, smart girl that she is on probation, possibly facing jail time, she went to an after party. So that alarm for the scram bracelet did go off. The judge did issue a bench warrant for her arrest, doubled her bail to $200,000. It was quickly posted. She wasn't arrested. Um, so she escaped jail then by the hair of her chinny chin chin. So she's got to wake up. She's got to show that she is respecting the law. She is respecting the court. And that starts, number one, with her this morning being here on time. And hopefully wearing something appropriate, unlike she was last time in that courtroom. <laughs> right. Wow. And, and this has been going on for a while. I mean, today really just marking another chapter in what has been a long legal saga for Lindsay. This thing began back in 2007. Let's roll out the showbiz news line. Back in 07, Lindsay pleaded guilty to misdemeanor drug charges and driving under the influence. She served 84 minutes in jail. Let's remember that number now. She's been on probation since August 2007. In October of 2009, a judge extended probation for a year after getting reports that she was skipping out on her alcohol education classes. June 10, this year, her alcohol monitoring bracelet went off. A judge issued a warrant for her arrest. Lindsay posted bail, even though Lindsay claims that anklet malfunctioned. Now, Mike Brooks, you say that you think the judge very well could send Lindsay Lohan off to jail today if she goes to jail, Mike. Last time it was for 84 minutes. Do you think it'd be in a, that it would wind up being a bit longer this time around? Oh, I think it could be a lot longer, AJ. You know, just to, just to send a message to her. And as part of that, she could have to go through rehab while she's locked up. Because she, when she hasn't been incarcerated, it looks like the rehab hasn't worked in the past. So when she ha is she, if she had a controlled atmosphere, maybe that would help. But who knows? Listen, Megan, we have talked a whole lot more about Lindsay Lohan because of her antics than we have about her acting. I was just talking to somebody in our dressing room about the parent trap and the fact that her daughter loves to still watch that movie. And wow, now look at her and what she's become. You know, I'd like to believe that we're not going to see the same kind of antics from her this time around. But I actually am not comfortable with saying that, you know, we're not going to see her showing up late. It's an interesting point, AJ, because as a professional, you mentioned she's 24 years old. So as a professional, when she looks at her career, uh, what kind of choices is she making to, to move forward, to move into the future, to think about the ty type of roles that she wants to go after? She has shown such a lack, I think, of professionalism in both her personal and professional life. And an interesting point to make, too, is, is this all according to her own schedule? Yes, she made up those classes, AJ, but not according to the court schedule. Right. So I think Lindsay needs to realize it's not, not all, on, all on her schedule, and that will benefit her ultimately professionally. Well, the clock is ticking. That court hearing is supposed to get underway in just about uh, 19 minutes from right now. Megan Alexander, Vicki Ziegler, Mike Brooks, thank you very much. Don't go anywhere. Lindsay Lohan.